So now we're going to get started on dessert, and we're actually going to be using a company called Pre-Gel America. Now, if you're not familiar with this company, you definitely want to look into it because they make some incredible, amazing fruit products that can be used in yogurts, ice creams, gelatos, sorbets, in different kinds of puff pastry desserts that I'm going to show you now. Unbelievable, incredible flavor, uh, especially these uh, Amarina cherries, which are definitely my favorite. I've been caught eating about four of these on set, but it just doesn't stop. It goes from their coffee flavor to the pomegranate to the pistachio. Over here, we're using their uh, raspberry flavor, and this raspberry is actually going to be, be mixed with uh, some cream cheese, and we're going to take the cream cheese, spread it in some puff pastry, a little bit of egg white sugar, pop in the oven no more than 10 minutes. It's going to be a delicious beautiful dessert. Uh, as an additive, we're just going to take a little bit of butter and actually put it inside the puff pastry as well. So we're going to get started with the uh, raspberry here. Now, this raspberry ah, is this, and this is an incredible product. Uh, even the smell and the aroma of this um, is really going to take it to the next level. The, the smell of fresh fruit and the combination of what they're putting in this product just far super supersedes anything else on the market today. Family-owned business, been in business for 50 years. Um, they've, they've done a lot with gelato, with sorbet, and these ingredients enhance the flavor. Let's get started with this raspberry product right here. And as you can see, too, it's, it's in a perfect thickness as well. We're going to put that right in the cream cheese, and we're going to mix it up. Now, you're not on set, so you can't smell it, but... It is pretty strong. It's potent. And I didn't put much in here, maybe two tablespoons. And the flavor really is incredible. I want every bit of drop in there. I mean, put it on your bread in the morning, replace it with your jelly. This stuff is fabulous. So we're just going to take a dollop. We'll put it right there in the, in the uh, center. We're going to also take a dollop of this butter. Now, I put just a little bit of salt in here just to bring out the flavor. You, you're never going to taste it. You're going to fold over a few pieces of this. At the same time, you're going to fold over. You're going to flatten it out. You're going to turn it, flatten it out, turn it again. Now, you can do a bunch of things here. What I like to do is trim off the excess that you don't need. And then we're going to take the ends and just fold them down. Take a snip up top. And once that cooks, it'll let the air out of the, uh, out of the wonderful pastry here. We'll take some of these egg whites. Don't use egg yolks. Egg yolks are typically for breads but definitely not for this, uh, this recipe here. And you're going to take some sugar and just put it over the top. And we're going to do two more just so you kind of get the process. And you can change around the shape. We can do another shape if you want. All right, we're going to take the filling. I could, I could just, I, I want to call this flambois, flambois seasoning here. This really, really good raspberry mixture here. A wonderful jelly. We're going to take this, we're going to mold it again. Actually, we, told, we said we were going to do a different one, right? I love phyllo dough. And I'm sure the Mediterranean people love it too. Spanakopita, all that great stuff. You don't want too much, so we're gonna trim this. And you can even make this a dessert. This can be baked, rolled with cinnamon, sugar. It becomes nice and crispy. Put that there with two snips. Same thing, a little bit of egg white. sugar. And we got one more. Now, we're just going to change it around a bit. We're going to take our cream cheese mixture. I have to bust out these cherries. These things are just amazing. Arabishi. Wow. Oh, my God. Ooh. Man. Man, it's good. 
I got no problem telling you when something's really good. All right, let's put three of these on. This is mine. I called dibs on this one. You know, I believe the coffee would have went good with this too. But anyway, we'll keep it fruity. Again, we'll push, push down. Roll it. Roll it. And you don't have to worry about too much phyllo dough if you think it's too thick. As long as you're putting a good amount of the egg whites on there and the sugar, it'll be a flavorable, a flavorable treat. Because sometimes you get, uh, you know, phyllo dough and puff pastry that's really annoying because there's too much of it, and like you feel like you're you're chewing paper. But if it's seasoned right, you don't have to worry about that. Egg whites over that. The egg whites help it. They help the sugar stick, help it get moist, color. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna deliver our beef, our dessert. Don't go anywhere. Taste this. Hi, I'm Chef Joe Simonero with Taste This Television here to introduce to you an incredible product that can not only be used for desserts, enhancing your desserts, but even just on breads, toasts, used for jams and jellies. Check it out, it's called Pre-Gel America. And the website is pregelamerica.com. They make everything with flavor fruit profiles to enhance sorbets, yogurts, and much more. This is your dessert heaven. Pre-Gel America, located in Concord, North Carolina, is the U.S. division of Pre-Gel, a global specialty dessert ingredient company headquartered in Reggio Emilia, Italy. Founded in 1967 by Luciano Raboni. Pregel stands globally as the largest manufacturer and distributor of ingredients for gelato, sorbetto, frozen yogurt, semifreddo, pastries, and more. Pregel offers the finest ingredient of authentic Italian flavors, expertise and tradition behind each ingredient, and in business for almost 50 years. It's a family owned business with great customer service. Pregel's ingredients are the products of years of research, innovation, and hard work, all motivated by a passion to provide only the highest quality offerings to consumers. Some of the products we'll be using on today's show will be Amarina Arabeski, which are whole sour cherries, a sweet cherry sauce mixed with authentic whole cherries for many dessert applications. We'll also be using chocolate hazelnut rock arabishi, chocolate and hazelnut pieces, a milk chocolate sauce with real hazelnut and wafer crunch pieces. We'll also be using their chocolate hazel rock, croco milk, pomegranate, strawberry, and my favorite, raspberry. You can't forget about the coffee costa de oro, a traditional paste of espresso, or their pure pistachio anatolia traditional paste, which will have your mouth watering. You see, Pre-Gel has taken a great deal of amount of time and innovation and technique to perfecting these products to where they now are absolutely fabulous. But for more about these great products, log on to pregelamerica.com. Now, we got our feel of dough puffs here. I'm going to move this over. What we want to do is cut this baby in half. Nice. Nice, you can see that incredible cherries in there. What we're gonna do is put them on a plate. We're gonna take some rice pudding, put that over the top. Take some of our pre-gel Amarina Arabishi cherries right over the top. Oh my God, look at that. That is serious. That is picture perfect. Amazing. I wonder why they all live to be 100 over there. All right, so we have our incredible dessert here using pre-gel. Check them out. We have our entree. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's show. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joseph, and remember there are no rules in cooking. Taste this.